Okay, so we're going to do some transition metal uh, reactions with precipitation reaction with sodium hydroxide. So we went for these last lessons, we did the equations. Um, so we're going to start off, should we do copper sulfate first of all? Sounds exciting. So we've got copper 2 plus iron, so we're expecting those to be blue. Nice. If I now add sodium hydroxide solution, what will the colour be? What will I see? Blue precipitate. I will see a blue precipitate. Let's do it. Sodium hydroxide, is it going to work? Oh, nice. All happy that it is a blue precipitate. We gave a special name to that type of precipitate. We said it was jelly like jelly. Gelatinous precipitate. So that is a blue, light, well they normally say it's a light blue precipitate. So that we took copper 2 plus ions and we added hydroxide ions to it and we got a light blue precipitate of copper 2 hydroxide. My next one is going to be iron 2 ions. You may not be able to see, perhaps it's really see. Can you see it is like a pale green solution when you can see it like that? Slightly yeah. pale green. So, what colour precipitate do we expect to see when I add my sodium hydroxide? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's try again. Oh, it is almost there. Let's try one more time. Oh, Okay, so that is kind of that is definitely green. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, right. yeah so uh, that one's going to be Fe2 plus now. Why is it just green at the top? Uh, it's because the sodium hydroxide hasn't got all the way down to the bottom. Because okay. I squirted it in. And I, okay. yeah. Why did it take so much? Um, I think it's probably got some acid in it to stabilise it. Okay. So the Because otherwise iron 2 becomes iron 3 plus because it gets oxidised. Mm -hmm. So we stabilise it by putting some acid in. So the sodium hydroxide, first of all, has to neutralise the acid before it can work. Um, if we notice, we'll have a look in a minute at the top, because there's something um, interesting happening. Should we just put this, so that was a light blue precipitate. This is a green precipitate. Let's just have a look at the top of that one. Can you perhaps see it's going yeah. orange? Uh, so, so what do you reckon is happening? Oh, oxidising to... Brilliant, yeah, to... FeOH3? Yeah, to um, iron 3 plus, yeah. yeah. It, cause that ha that's happened really fast, hasn't it? Yeah. Can you see at the top it's actually going as well? see it in well. the test tube. So you can imagine if, if this has been sat around for a few days, that would all be yellow by now. It would have all turned into <gasps> this stuff, which is iron 3 plus. Oh, don't need that. So this is quite a um, white colour. So what are we expecting to see this time? This is a yeah, orange, this one. Rust, rusty one. Yeah, this is oh, a rusty, rusty one. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this what we did last lesson? Yeah. Yeah, as I said at the beginning. It's like the same colour as your jumper, basically. It is a little bit, yeah. Or a step the same, autumnal. It's exactly the same. It's a very autumnal jumper. Yeah. <laughs> the time matches. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so that is definitely, as one thing we call this like a rust colour precipitate. So that is Fe3 plus. Oh, burnt orange. Burnt orange. It's definitely autumnal. Yeah. Mm. But further season. Away from now. Okay. <laughs> autumnal colours are winter wearable, though. Yeah, I guess so. Well, they are for me. Well, you're wearing the same colour top, so we're not arguing. I've been wearing the same colour jumper all year. <laughs> okay, uh, there's one more I think that we had to do. Colourless one. Was cobalt. that cobalt? Yeah. Should we do cobalt? Well, it's pink. Yeah. So this is pretty, Ooh. isn't it? This is cobalt oh. 2 plus. Very pretty. So, we're going to add, can anybody tell me the colour it's going to go? Colourless, isn't it? Yeah. Or pink? pink? Which one's colourless? You'd think it was pink, wouldn't you? Blue. Blue, yes. Oh, yes. 
Ta-da! That's blue. <laughs> So we're going to leave that one because we said something will happen to this on standing. It'll go, oh, it'll go pink. pink. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll wait and see. It does take a little bit of time. I'm not sure whether we'll get to that at the end of the lesson, but we'll leave it. So this was cobalt 2 plus aqueous. That means two hydroxide ions in aqueous to give me cobalt 2 hydroxide solid, which is a blue precipitate initially. But uh, it does sometimes go to a pink colour. How long does it take? Um, it takes a, about a, well, about half an hour or so. But we may see it slightly change by the end of the by the end of the lesson. But the, particularly the bits at the top because they tend to go first. But we're it, we're waiting to see. Is it because it oxidises just like that? It's not actually. Um, it's quite complicated. Oh. It's due to a change in the ligands that's happening oh. in the um, between. Uh, cobalt, so, yeah. Should we do a couple more just for fun? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you, because you know you said that the um, iron 2 plus tends to go to the iron 3 plus, how yeah. do you stop it from doing that? Um, in solution we have acid, which protects it from being oxidised, okay. um, but iron 2, they are unstable, so it's really difficult. You don't want to keep these hanging around for too long, because they will go to iron 3 plus. Because it's more stable, iron 3 plus more stable, which is why when you form rust, Rust is iron three plus, which is four, because that's what you know, it goes through its four oxidation state. Uh, were you waving your hand? No, no. What would be the state symbol of fire? Fire. <laughs> well, fire is a, it's a very complicated, it is, it's like a huge mixture of free radicals um, oh, which are producing the light and everything. So uh, it's a, a whole mixture of uh, exciting state. species. Yeah. P. Plasma. Plasma. Is, does that ever, do you ever put plasma as a state symbol in equations? Um, generally, I've never, I've never worked with plasma myself, oh. um, but I guess you could. I don't know what a state symbol for plasma would be. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's quite what interesting. What's the state symbol? Bonus bit. Um, so, <laughs> nickel 2 plus is it? You don't need to know this, but let's do it for fun. Um, this isn't actually as exciting as you think it would be. Well, maybe oh, you don't think it's going to be very exciting. Oh, it's kind of like a. Oh. It's all right. It's like a. It's like a uh, peppermint. It's green. mint green. It's mint green. Yeah. Green colour. But again, it's, I think this highlights like the jelly-like, just gelatinous precipitate. It's really quite. You're happy it's gelatinous. It doesn't give you like nice Don't solid. You help it. Mm. Well, it'd just be squashy. Yeah. Oh, most squishy. precipitates gelatinous though. Like when we did the ones with the. No, because no, sometimes yeah. the solid it settles down to the bottom. If you look at this one, I mean, it's still like. Like cloudy, yeah, cloudy. Okay, um, one more. Let's do manganese. As well. It's unassuming. Sorry. It is slightly. Yeah, maybe it's my jumper. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's like a beige. Well, what do you reckon, beige? No. It looks it's between skin coloured and cream, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, I think we will uh, finish it there. Thanks very much.